The changing face of Queen Elizabeth II is the story behind this new commemorative coin. In a process that's changed little over centuries, the first £20 silver coins are being struck at the Royal Mint. So we're looking at some of the portraits and where the sort of positioning of those are. It's taken two years of preparation to get to this stage. Design staff at the Royal Mint were invited to submit their ideas for the reverse of the coin. The winning design features the five portraits of the Queen used on currency throughout her 63-year reign. Oh, it's fantastic. It's obviously something that you could only dream of, really. I started the Mint four years ago and always saw sort of coins being struck, but never, ever thought, uh, obviously, I'd have my own coin in circulation. So to uh, be standing here today, obviously, with my own design being struck in a coin is fantastic and really proud. Stephen's designs have been approved by the Queen and appear across the range of commemorative coins, including this solid gold kilo. Only 15 have been produced and most have been sold already at a cost of around £42,000. The Royal Mint has been making coins for monarchs for more than a thousand years. Many milestones have been celebrated on currency and they're all recorded in this museum. If you wanted an example of another long reigning monarch, uh, Elizabeth I wouldn't be uh, a bad place to start. Yeah. Almost 500 years after this coin was produced for Queen Elizabeth I, the Royal Mint is marking the tenure of her namesake on the throne. It captures that sense of, you know, the, the, this sense of longevity, uh, you know, this, this evolution of, of the Queen's portrait that we've all been used to. You know, we pick the coins out of our pockets unthinkingly and, and she's represented at different stages in her life. And, and this design brings that all together in a single moment. The Queen will celebrate her milestone in just over a week. These commemorative coins go on sale to the public from today. Sean Lloyd, BBC News at the Royal Mint.